What's the difference between these two pistons? Yeah, I know size for sure, but this one came out of an AC compressor and this one came out of an engine. Welcome to this AMS oil tech tip. Yeah, we're talking pistons, but even more important, lubrication. And you know, let's talk about the AC cycle to start with. Now the AC cycle is pretty cool because we go from a high pressure to a low pressure. And the compressor right there, well, he's the player. There's our piston for our compressor. Let's take a look at a couple different types of compressors. Now the top one there, that's an actual radial compressor around, kind of like one of those old airplane engines. That's pretty cool. That was on some old GM cars. And then we go across over here to the top. This is a vein type compressor. Once again, pistons or veins running, you need lubrication for the bearings. Down there, you got a scroll compressor. Now the scroll compressor is actually compressing that refrigerant, but once again, it's spinning, I need lubrication. And my electric compressor for my hybrid cars, obviously we're not driving anything with the engine, so we need an electric compressor. My favorite though, here's the actual wobble plate compressor. Now this is really cool. My wobble plate compressor has the piston right here and we make a short stroke if cooling demands are low and we don't need it very cold. And then on this one, well, the stroke's gonna get much bigger and that's because we need the cooling and a piston and lubrication is key there as well. Better yet, Len, check this out, man. I got the coolest demo on the planet right here. I got one cut away. This is actually a wobble plate. And what I can do here is I can spin it and when I spin it, Take a look at that stroke. Yeah, that's not very long. It's not very long. So the deal is when that pressure or we need cooling demand, bam, we can flex this wobble plate. Now watch the difference. Oh, there you go, now it's moving. Yeah, and those pistons are moving, but man, we got all kinds of bearings in here. We need lubrication. This is an AC compressor, but every shop has an air compressor. They need lubrication as well. Sure, just like a you know piston moving in the cylinder of a vehicle, you need to have lubrication or you're gonna have metal on metal and you're gonna have wear. It's not gonna work very well. Now you got an oil design specifically for that. Yeah, something we should mention is that AC compressors, air compressors, all require very, very specific products. So make sure that you're using the product that that compressor requires. So what's so specific about an air compressor? Well, the chemistry can be different. And the problem is they don't play nice together. So if you don't use the right oil, you could create a bunch of sludge and problems. The main thing that we focus on with our compressor oil, long-term use, 8,000 plus hours for some of our compressor oils. We wanna provide that peace of mind that that neglected piece of equipment is gonna to continue to operate forever. Neglected piece of equipment in every shop. Len, if they wanna find any of your products, where do they go? Well, you can just check out amsoil.com for any of our compressor oils or any of our other motor oils. Well, check them out at amsoil.com.